Yo, what's up everybody, it's me, Thomas Love, and this is a new series on the channel, hopefully. I hope to keep on doing... What's this going? What's this doing on the screen? And yeah, uh, it's just as Arty Games. We played it on live streams. People seem to enjoy it, and I could do a little walkthrough tutorial kind of series with this. So I thought I would like record three or three, ah, uh, three or three, three or four episodes with this, and you tell me what you think, and maybe we can even do daily videos of this or so. Just let me know what you think of it, and if you like it, we can keep on playing it. What it is basically, it is I will like I will explain you. There are different game modes. My favorite one is the character challenge because it's the ma most fun. And let's get right into it. I will try and explain what it is with basically just some. Like you will see how it works. It's it's pretty easy. Just click on go, and you will get random words thrown at you. And what you do is you basically draw this in the limited time you have, like it, I, I set it to 10 minutes and this is what I gotta draw, a zombie businessman that is forced to go on a quest who's wearing a beanie. Okay, just was quiet for a second, but like I always start off with a, with a, with a sketch. And what I realized there's a lot of zombies in this game. That's, that's already like the fourth, fourth one or so, which I've drawn so far. And yeah, I start with a, with a basic skeleton, basically, of the... And that's with every artwork, because I want to keep it like a tutorial kind of series, where I walk you through my art process. And I think it's not gonna be too long, either. So yeah... I always start with this kind of sketch. Make a body, torso and a hip. He's forced to go on a quest, so... And he's a businessman, so I need, a, I need to show both in this artwork, which is, which is kind of hard, it's a challenge. It's, it's a very really challenging game sometimes, sometimes it's really easy, but it's perfect for everybody who doesn't know what to draw. Like, you always come to me asking what to draw, and recently I've been just sending screenshots of this game, and people have always been laughing at me, but honestly, I have the same problem, and this game really helped me. Let's get, give him a tie. Could be wearing a lamp with him. Oh, he's wearing a beanie. See? I keep on forgetting a few things here and there, but... It's a pretty straightforward game, as you can see. You get you get thrown words at you, and you gotta draw that stuff within a few minutes. Like, I've set it to 10 minutes, because I think it's... It's the the one I feel most comfortable with. Because 5 minutes is way too, le too, too short for me. So... Working, walking like a zombie. Okay, as you can see, my art is really suffering from this because you don't have a whole lot of time. But now I'm going to line work. I set it on the layer above, put this layer on like 20 30 percent just so you can see it. And draw the same thing, but better, if it makes sense, like, it's the final line work. The sketch is just there, so you get the proportions right, and once you get the proportions right, you can, like, if you would go straight for the line work, the artwork wouldn't look nearly as good, you know? And that's not something, like, I've seen a lot of people, they avoid doing sketches, because they think that's... That's not professional enough or so, but I honestly tell you, I don't know anyone who's a pro in this business who, who doesn't do sketches. Sketches are way are part of it and are very important. 
So yeah, just focusing a little bit on the artwork. Doesn't look like a zombie enough. I guess he's just a happy zombie. I don't know. It's not that hard to draw a zombie, it's just gonna rip off his face a little bit. Yeah. So let me know what you think of this game. Would you get it for yourself? It's like three bucks, three dollars on the on the app stores like it's on Android and iOS and you can get it on PC. I will put a link to it in the description. People in my live streams seemed to like it a, like a lot but I don't know if anyone got it. They played like we played it all together. Yeah. I can do like as I said this could be a daily series if you want to. Like it's really easy to record and I'm drawing a warm up every day anyways. So um, I'm not the best entertainer while I'm drawing cuz especially with this game like a little flame in there. And for everybody who's asking for, for legit tutorials, I have stuff planned. I just need... I want to pull it off right, you know? I don't want to make a regular old tutorial like everybody does. I want to make stuff which actually helps you, you know? Which will help you progress in, with your art. And... If I pull it off correctly after that tutorial series, you will be able to draw anything you want without watching any tutorials online anymore, you know? That's the point of tutorials, basically. You don't want to go to watch tutorials over and over again. Get this guy looks more like drunk. But who cares, I don't have the time anymore. See, I usually wouldn't put something like this out. I look at it, it's it's horrible in my opinion, but... I love to use this game as a warm-up. To get warmed up, basically, you know, to get my hands in the mood, in the groove, so it can do more art. And I, I draw a warm-up every day. People on my Snapchat know that. There's a warm-up every single day for me. And this is the first artwork I've done today, so it's it's gonna look a little bad anyway, so you gotta understand. Like, if you... Yeah, I don't know what to say, because I'm drawing and... I really want your opinion on this, like, I've said it before, but I really, really want you to comment below if you want to see this, like, daily, or if you want to see more of it. I'll record, like, three or four episodes, and you... You let me know, you know. You know, you know. So basically, almost done with this. I don't have a lot more time, but I think... Like, what I've done in streams is that I finished the artworks anyway. So I can show something else, you know. Why did I... <laughs> See, I don't even think straight anymore. Only the red and not the same color as the mouth. So it blends together. The arm is horrible, by the way. Me as an anatomy freak who, who really takes care of this stuff. I can look at this. If someone came with this to me, I would, I would laugh about it, but... I don't have the time to finish this art. No chance I'm gonna finish this today. Good today. I'm on, I meant like now, within the next minute. Shading will be really, really basic. I can show you like 
Even if the time runs out, I will show you a little trick. As I said, this will be tutorial like. Make the bean this color. If you have specific questions or something I should talk about in these videos, this would be also very, very, very helpful. Because you know, if I'm focused on the artwork, I'm not really focused on what to talk about. And if I have something, a topic in my mind, it's way, it's really easy for me. It's easier than coming up with topics while I'm drawing. And maybe I should should have thought about this earlier, but you know, I always do stuff on the fly. I don't really think about topics and stuff. So what I do is make a new layer, make it a clipping mask. Okay, it's not gonna last. Okay. It's done. It looks horrible. I will just show you what it like. I will color it. I will shade it. Even though the time is already out, it's it's already over. So, so what you what you're gonna do is you make a new layer on top of a color layer and make it get a clipping mask. On Photoshop, you will press Alt between the two lines here on the side. If you look at it, okay, time's up. I will still keep on playing to explain you what what I'm doing you know maybe I should have did you see the artwork while I was drawing yeah I think it wasn't horrible but what I was like you put a oval uh, in layer above as a clipping mask it's very important that it's a clipping mask or at least some kind of mask so you don't draw out put it on multiply Go to like 30 to 45 percent. I will put 35. And go to to your color wheel and put like a darkish purple or red, whatever fits. Like and just draw it over it. You see. It colors it really well in my opinion. It's it's saturated. It's not black. I hate coloring or shading with black. I don't know. It, it just looks weird. It takes the saturation of the colors. It really doesn't look good in my opinion. And this really goes well with almost any color, unless it's a bluish kind of tint. Then I tend to go in the dark blue area. Maybe we have an area here which I can actually use it on. Maybe the shirt. On yeah, the shirt, the blue would fit more. Like it would fit better. It would look good. Like if you look at it, this is how I shade simple artworks. I've done it on streams multiple times. People have not. They haven't been asking because I explained it on the stream already. But I thought some of you who I've seen do tend to shade with black. You really need to stop doing it because it doesn't really look good it takes away a lot from the colors it just looks bad in my opinion you know it does i can show you what it looks like with black just let me finish it like this and i will just make it black at the end so i'm also not really looking at the direction of the light right now, maybe I should. What you can also do is stack them up, like make another layer with like 30% and go over it again with a darker kind of tone. Like I think you can see that it looks really good. Then what I tend to do is go over it again with an overlay layer, put a white. makes it a little bit like it shines a little bit I really like this look especially for eyes and stuff so yeah this is about it for the artwork almost done I will just show you really quick what it looks like with black yes you can see the artwork isn't the worst but I think the shading it's a lot to it and it's really simple shading like I, I maybe maybe took me like three minutes or so to shade it and now let's show you what black looks like it, see it takes a lot of vibrance from the artwork I don't like it 
I like the colorful way more. It looks a little bit more professional, how some of you like to call it. I call it vibrance, saturation, or whatever you want to say. Like, it, it adds a lot of color variety to it. Because it's a red, like, here you see, it's almost like a brown tone. On here is like blue, then it fades a little bit to red. A little bit of like a yellowish tone. Yeah, it's in the yellows. See, it adds a lot to an artwork. So this is it for the first episode. Let me know, please let me know in the comments what you think about it. We can do more of this. I need to think about, about the topic to talk about in the next one, but it's kind of a walkthrough tutorial kind of thing. With, like I have a warm up. You have a video and a tutorial, a cheap tutorial, it's not a full-blown tutorial, but you see my workflow and I explain my stuff. So let me know what you think about it, if you want to see more. And I see you in the next one. Peace!